If you watch this video all the way through, you will become a better dribbler in 2K25. You will learn moves like the fastest speed boost in the game, the spin back to the three-point line, the 2K24 glitchy crossover, glitchy behind the backs, including the 2K20 behind the back, good cross launch speed boost, good escape moves, the Kobe between the legs move, and much, much more. And all of these moves have given me a great start to 2K25, considering I have a 96 win percent. So make sure to drop a like on this video if this video helps you out at all. And make sure you're subscribed to this channel. 1 million subscribers on the way. And let's go ahead and get into the video. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another video. And today, we're going to get into the dribble tutorial. First, we got to go over some important things. Trust me, you're not going to want to skip this stuff, especially this setting right here, because a lot of people leave this setting on, and they don't know that there is a setting that is making the, the computer, just the game, dribble for you. So if you go over to the controller settings and you scroll down right here, there is something called passive dribble hand hand switches and for whatever reason this is automatically enabled and yeah it just kind of makes your player dribble for you so make sure to disable that because that setting is probably on for all of you right now unless you manually went to disable it the next thing you're going to want to know about dribbling in 2k25 is that you need to do your gatorade workouts here is where the gatorade gym is at this year it is at the bottom right of the city map and you're going to want to do your workouts weekly and in two weeks you will get your state stamina from an 85 to 99 and obviously stamina is super important when dribbling so just make sure you get at least three or more stars on your workout and every week you will get another opportunity to do another four workouts and if you do get three or more stars on the first two weeks of all your workouts you will unlock 99 stamina another thing we have to talk about is boost i wouldn't personally waste vc on ball handling boost I personally don't really think that helps with really anything much, but Gatorade boost, I know it is expensive, but if you do want a little extra stamina when dribbling and you don't want to waste too much VC, only buy the middle green boost, okay? That will help you the most, but if you have a bunch of extra VC, you know, just buy all of them. Another thing we need to talk about is where to practice your dribble moves. Now, there's a lot of courts like this that, like these garage courts located around the city, but usually they're taken by other users. So good places to practice your dribble moves here at the Art of Shooting Gym. Gym. and the best thing about the art of shooting gym is there is no stamina or uh adrenaline so you can kind of really learn a lot of moves without having to you know wait and regain your stamina and kind of just dribble around in here mess around with your dribble moves maybe learn some extra combos or something now the art of shooting gym is located right here on the map another gym that has no adrenaline and uh stamina is the chris brickley gym that is located right here on the map and yeah this gym does not have any stamina or adrenaline in here so you can kind of just do whatever you want to just like the art of shooting gym also there's some extra courts in the back here at the bottom of the map on the sand that usually aren't taken and you can kind of just go on the got next spot and practice your drill moves with stamina and adrenaline on here there's also some other courts over there in the back by the gatorade workout place and the best part about these courts is they have very similar latency to those online park courts but a very popular spot to practice your drill moves is of course going to be the my court which is located right here by the jason tatum mural and that is going to be right here in the middle of the map now this is where we're going to be showing you how to do the drill moves in today's video and the best part about this my court is that yes it does have a journal journal and stamina just like you would have in the online games but you can also click the right stick after clicking start to you know change your sliders so if you want to practice on the city sliders right ranked sliders rec sliders whatever you want pro-am sliders they got it right here for you plus there's a bunch of drills that you can also do as well and you could also inv invite your friend to the my court maybe y'all want to lab up together get your drill moves down and go in here and maybe learn some new stuff together anyways enough of the yapping let's go ahead and show you guys what drill moves i have on right now and what other drill moves that we're going to be showing in today's video so you guys know that my guard is 6 6 so we're going to be using a lot of drill moves that are 6 5 to 6 9 but if you are a smaller guard i'm going to show you guys which moves to equip as well and which are good i'm going to pop up a screenshot on the screen a bunch of five nine two six three drill moves that you can check out as well but let's start with the dribble style now if you're six five to six nine you're gonna want to use zion williamson uh jalen green is also good Dejounte murray is also good 
you know, LeBron and Pro aren't that bad, but I am currently using Zion, and I would also highly suggest using Jalen Green. Now, if you are a small guard, I would suggest using Darius Garland. That is by far the best one for y'all. And moving on to Sig size up, I am using Kawhi Leonard. Regular breakdown combo, I am using Zach Levine. Aggressive breakdown combo, I am using Jason Tatum. Escape move. Now, if you can't afford the next one I'm about to show, go ahead and equip Kevin Durant because it's very similar to this one. But I am using Kobe Bryant, and you will be able to get an extra move compared to Kevin Durant if you do have Kobe on. But if you can't afford Kobe, Kevin Durant is a good, cheap option. Combo moves, I am using James Harden. Crossovers, Zach Levine. Now, if you are a small guard, make sure to use Chris Paul. That one is very good. Behind the backs, there's actually a lot of options with this one. You can use Kobe. You can use Paul George. Halliburton's not even that bad. Kawhi Leonard is pretty good as well. But Andrew Wiggins is very good as well. We're going to be showcasing a lot of these behind the backs. And you can kind of choose which one you want to use. Spins, you're going to want to equip Kevin Durant. Hesitations, also Kevin Durant. Step backs, Zach Levine. Now, Devin Booker's is pretty good as well. If, uh, you know, you want to test that one out. But they're both at 80 ball handle. I would really recommend using Zach Levine. And triple threat style, Zach Levine protects the ball the most if you do jab step. Not only that, make sure you have normal to hop jumper on. And also make sure you have Jairus Walker go-to shot. If you are a smaller guard, please equip Ja Morant go-to shot. That is actually going to give you the Russell Westbrook a uh, crossover from 2k23 and if you know anything about that animation that move is crazy overpowered to get to the rim so the first move we're going to go over is a simple cross launch now this is with the dribble style that i was using and it's very easy to speed boost out of very easy move to do probably one of the easiest moves to do in the game and you guys see every time i do like a little crossover and run out of it i'm getting this good speed boost and i'm beating my defender to the rim i'm getting contact dunks off of it Sometimes I run back to the three-point line with it as well. A lot of times I'd like to drive to the basket with it. And it's just a very simple, easy move to do to get to the rim. So now we're in the my court with it. Now, as long as you have Zion Williamson dribble style on, it will look like this. If you have Jalen Green, it's going to look a little different. Jalen Green's going to be better if you want to run out to the three. Zion's better if you want to attack the basket. Okay, so it's really up to you. You can test out with the other dribble styles what it kind of looks like. But literally all you do is you literally flick to the right or flick to the left for a crossover, right? And I'm pretty sure this also, this crossover right here, you have to have my um, my combo moves on. I think that's what you need. You need my combo moves on for this little crossover right here. And then the actual boost that you get out of it is the dribble style. The ball's in your left hand, you flick your right stick to the right, and then you run to the left, right? So if you do it all in one motion, this time flicking your right stick to the left, and then run out of it, you're gonna get this speed boost animation. So once again, Ball on left hand, flick your right stick to the right, then start holding the right trigger and run to the opposite side. And there you go. You're going to get great speed boost animations out of this. Literally the simplest move to do in the game. It's not hard at all. And it is a good move to do in this game, considering a lot of, you know, runouts in this game give you super slow animations. Okay, so make sure you know how to do that it's very easy i mean it doesn't get more simple than that move right there move number two is going to be a simple half spin yeah we're starting with simple drill moves in this video then we'll get into more of the advanced stuff and i haven't been seeing a lot of people do the half spin the half spin is another move that's just a simple move that can give you a good run out out of the move that allows you to either attack the basket or attack one side of the court a lot faster than other moves in this game and I've been using this move a lot to start 2K25. And honestly, it gives me a lot of free buckets a lot of times because a lot of people don't expect it. And they also don't know how to guard it. So we're in the my court right now. So obviously you saw in those clips, a lot of the times I'm running out, you know, back to the three from the paint or whatever. Or maybe I'm at the three point line and I'm running to like back here and I'm going, you know, to the half spin. So basically what you're going to do is let's just run backwards right now in the my court where you go over the half court line it like flips courts so you don't want to go over the half court line to practice this drill move so go to like the painted area you're going to want to go to the painted area and you're going to be holding the right trigger when doing this move so obviously running backwards you know left stick down right wall holding right trigger but let's say the ball's in your right hand on the left side when you're running backwards you're going to want to while you're holding the right trigger and running that way 
you're going to want to put your right stick from nine o'clock to six o'clock so it's gonna look like this your right trigger boom nine o'clock to six o'clock okay so once again balls in your right hand i'm gonna be on the left side when you're running backwards you're holding right trigger left stick down to run out right stick nine o'clock to six o'clock now let's say the ball's in your other hand so the left hand right side when you're running backwards you're gonna do the exact same thing but now you're putting the stick from three o'clock to six o'clock so running out three o'clock to six o'clock very simple okay if you didn't understand what i said just rewind because i said it exactly how it works uh you don't really need kevin durant spin on you could do this with any spin but kevin durant spin does give you like this animation where you can run towards the hoop like that and get that spin if you guys want to know how to do that let me explain that really quick all you're going to do is while you're running to either the right elbow which is right here or the left elbow which is right here that's kind of where you would want to aim for when you're doing this move when attacking the basket so let's say i'm running to the right right now i'm gonna hold right trigger hold the left stick to where i'm running to while you're rotating your right stick you want to flick the left stick to like where you're spinning towards so right now if i run to the right i'm gonna spin towards the left okay so for once again right trigger holding the left stick where i want to run and while i'm doing this spin i'm gonna go from 12 o'clock to six o'clock so we're gonna run 12 to 6 hold the left stick where i'm running to which is the left so once again hold right trigger run to the spot i'm running to 12 o'clock to six o'clock then hold the left stick to the left where i'm spinning to so run up 12 to 6 hold left stick to the left now if you're doing it the opposite way you're gonna have the ball in your left hand you're running to the left you're gonna do the same thing hold right trigger run to where you're going to but you're gonna put the right stick from 12 o'clock to six o'clock again but you're turning your stick to the left instead of the right this time and then you're flicking the right the left stick to the right because that's where you're spinning towards so once again run this way and boom 12 to 6 left stick to the right so move number three we're going to be going over the escape now there's two different moves you can get out of the escape the first one is this little you know kind of crossover that kind of you know goes out for a long period of time and yeah this is a good move to you know either crab a defender to get them to behind you or a good move just kind of you know combo into other moves or a good move to get into a shot if someone you think is sagging off you and you want to you know make sure you know you're a little open type stuff so yeah you can get that move right there out of this escape move that we're talking about or you can get this little walk back with the kobe escape which is the escape we're talking about now you can get a similar you know crossover move from the last clip uh with kd but this little cross or this little between the legs walk back move you can only get with the kobe escape i feel like this move is really good uh it, you're gonna see it right here there it is that little walk back between the legs it's really good just for s setting up possessions or to s go back to the three-point line to shoot it so now let's go ahead and show you guys how to do this move so the first move which is this uh little like uh size up move the escape all you're gonna want to do literally just hold your right trigger and flick your right stick to the left now it's not straight to the left it, but it's not up either it's kind of like in the middle at like a diagonal up left basically so the ball's in your left hand hold right trigger right stick up diagonally well you don't want to hold it accidentally just hold it so yeah flick diagonally up right and there you go you're gonna get the move so once again the ball's in the right hand right trigger flick the right stick diagonally up left and there you go you can you know do other moves out of it but yeah it's a simple move right there and you can get a very similar move with that with the kd escape but the move you can't get that you can get with the kobe escape is that between the legs i was talking about so all you're going to want to do to do this between the legs is you want to be holding the right trigger right and all you're going to want to do is flick your right let's say the ball's in your left hand you have to flick your right stick to the right and then to the left really fast so i'm going to go right left and he's going to walk back like that so once again holding right trigger right left immediately there you go so you don't you want to do this fast when you're flicking this stick right to the left otherwise you're gonna get like this and then you're gonna get like that if you do if you don't do it like fast enough so hold the right trigger right left fast boom there you go now if the ball is in your left hand and you want to do this move you're gonna hold the right trigger and flick your right stick to the left and then right fast so holding right trigger left right holding right trigger left right so very simple another simple move that you can you know that you can put into your bag and use to combo up with other different moves now it's time to go over the fastest speed boost in the game along with the step back 
that you can do to create space that's you know the best step back to do in replace of the lebron step back because that's obviously not in the game in 2k25 but yeah this there's a just a crazy speed boost that i don't really abuse in this gameplay right here but it's that one right there and once i show you in the my core here i mean you can really just run back and forth with this speed boost it is by far the fastest one in the game and it's even faster on small guards so you can do this speed boost really on any build and you just saw me right there this step back also allows you to do that spin back but we'll talk about that later in the video so now that we're here this is the zach levine step back devin booker step back is also good if you want to test that out but to do the regular one that's in replace with the lebron step back all you do is hold the right trigger and flick the right stick down boom that's going to be the animation you get um you know you can run to the paint and then boom do it out of nowhere um as long as you let go of that left stick you know what i'm saying then uh you can uh, just do that little snatch back out of driving to the basket and that's very good this move i'm not gonna lie a lot of people get open off of very easily very good step back to use but for the fastest speed boost in the game you're gonna hold the right trigger well actually you know what let's just show it first so run to the left boom run out of it run to the right boom run out of it run to the left boom run out of it run to the right boom boom now, obviously i got literally players about to have an asthma attack but um you get the point right and now on small guards this is even faster but literally all you do to do this with the zach levine step back is you hold the right trigger you're running to the left and then you right stick down now you can shoot off this or you can run back the other way and get a good speed boost off of it so this is actually a good move to like kind of like replaces a quick stop so if you're like a big build that struggles with quick stopping you can kind of just run around the perimeter and spam and then just put right stick down and like kind of just use this as a quick stop really because you can shoot off of it really well and it sets your feet perfectly now if you are going to use this as a quick stop or to stop fast to shoot the ball do keep in mind that this will like pull you in to the perimeter so if i hug the three-point line and i do it i'm gonna like kind of get pulled into that three or in front of that three-point line so make sure you're kind of behind it a little bit and then do it and then you'll be right behind the three-point line after you the step back but once again so let's say i'm running to the right hold the right trigger right or left stick to the right right um stick down get that move and then just run straight out of it while holding the right trigger the whole time so once again run to the right right stick down and then run to the left all while holding the right trigger all at the same time so run to the right right stick down and then run to the left and then you can do the same thing but just vice versa to the other side and just kind of spam this the next move we're going over is another simple move that was kind of in 2k24 this is the replacement of the john wall crossover a lot of people have been asking about this move um i'm pretty sure most of you should probably already know how to do it because it's basically the same as last year but yeah this is zach levine crossover like i talked about in the beginning of the video but let's get into the tour tutorial so let's say you're driving to the left side and you have the ball in your left hand you're gonna hold the right trigger while you're running towards the hoop and you're gonna flick the right stick diagonally up right and you're gonna get that right there you're going to the opposite side of the hoop ball in the right hand driving to the left you're going to pull, hold the right trigger and flick the right stick up diagonally left and you're going to get that now it doesn't matter where you're running to like even if i was on the right side of the court you know i could you know john wall cross to the left to the right it doesn't matter basically all you need to know is that if the ball's in the left hand diagonally up right if the ball's in the right hand diagonally up left and you're going to get this john wall cross cross every single time very simple and another move that is very easy to learn the next move we're talking about is a go-to shot now this specific go-to shot i talked about earlier in the video and i said i had equipped jairus walker this is that go-to shot now you can obviously shoot off this like i did right there or you can use it as a dribble move now here we are in the my court i like to use this as a dribble move and it's very good for tall guards now once again if you're a short guard make sure you have a john morant go-to shot on that'll give you the 2k23 russell westbrook crossover but anyways yeah, I think go-to shots are more, you know, better to use as dribble moves because a lot of these, you're just not going to get open against a user with a uh, doing it as a shot. So let's go ahead and play out the whole animation. This is the whole animation right here if you like use it as a shot. Now, you're not going to get off or open off that a lot. So I like to use it as a dribble move, right? So if you're holding the right trigger, you have to hold the right stick up 
and then you can let go of the right stick at any point and run out of the animation so you can let it play for as long as you want but you have to let go of the right stick before he gets into his shooting motion to run out of it so i like to just do this little kind of double behind the back type of thing and you can easily run out of that and you can you know easily combo this up with like you know a little combo move without the right trigger or you know a little kobe step back and then you know get into the go-to shot and you know kind of size up your defender and get something going you know now we're going to be going over behind the backs now this behind the back right here is the kobe behind the back we have a lot of behind the backs to go over i'm just showing gameplay of this one uh yeah there's a lot of good behind the backs to choose from and a lot that are very effective and good in this game so there's a lot to talk about here as we get into the my court so the one that I have equipped currently in the my court right now is actually Paul George's. And basically to do behind the back, right? If you're just standing here, you behind the back, right trigger, right stick diagonally down, right with the ball in the left hand, it's just going to give you that. Like, that's not good. That's not what you want, right? You know, that's not what you want. And this is, you know, how you would do a behind the back in 2K24, but that doesn't work in 2K25. But you're starting to see that I just did the actual Paul George move. So what you will have to do is you have to do some other move before doing the behind the back. So let's, for example, I can do a hezzy and then I can get into my behind the back and I can, that's how I can get into my behind the back every single time. Now to do that, all you have to do is hold the right trigger. If the ball's in your left hand, you flick the right stick to the left to kind of get this little hezzy move. And then you're going to flick the right stick down diagonally right. So flick it to the left, down diagonally right. If the ball's in your right hand, flick it to the right, down diagonally left. And that's how you get the behind the back every single time. Now you can do this out of other moves, like you can do, you know, the Kobe escape and then do your behind the back, or you can do your Zach Levine step back, then do the behind the back. But the point is you have to do some kind of move before doing it. And it can't just be like a regular crossover like this. Like you have to do another move before getting into the actual good behind the back animation. Not only that, but you also do a moving behind the back Back in 2K21, you would kind of have to like run and then like do the behind the back running the other way. But this year, all you have to do is hold on. Let me get my adrenaline back. But all you have to do is hold the right trigger. Balls in your left hand. You're going to flick down diagonally right twice. It's really fast. So you have to do a move and then hold the right trigger and do diagonally down right twice super fast. If you don't do it fast enough, you're not going to get the moving uh, behind the back. So let's do a hezzy to the left and then double down right and we get the moving behind the back now this is very important to know because there's other behind the backs that we're going to show in this video that are very good okay so or very good for the movie behind the back so this one's not a crazy one like it's actually pretty good like it's not that bad but there's a better one that, that's like the 2k20 behind the back that we're going to show you in a second here so after showing paul george this is Kawhi leonard's uh moving behind the back yeah it's pretty bad it's a lot worse than uh, Paul George's. Now, you already know how to do these moves. I'm just showing you what the other ones look like. So this is the Kawhi Leonard one. This is his regular behind the back, though. So this one's not bad. It kind of reminds me of like uh, DeMar DeRozan's from last year. I think it really is the exact same animation of DeMar DeRozan's from last year. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend putting Kawhi Leonard on just because his moving behind the back is so much worse. And I don't think this standing behind the back is even better than uh paul george's another one people like to use is tyrese halliburton's and this is what his standing behind the back looks like honestly i just don't think it creates enough space and then his moving step back looks like this uh which is actually really good his moving step back is much better than his standing behind the back so far and i honestly think this one's better than the moving step back or moving behind the back that uh paul george has but that we got some better behind the backs to look at here so there's two behind the backs that i really think you guys should look into outside of paul george's and the first one is going to be kobe bryant right here so yeah here's what the uh kobe bryant one looks like he kind of just does this like hezzy thing um that you can actually run out of really well that's what's so good about this behind the back unlike the other behind the backs is that you can run out of it really well um and that's kind of why i like this one uh, the standing behind the back is kind of underrated because although you're not creating a lot of separation off the initial behind the back the run out animations are really good with this one but the best thing about this behind the back is it actually has the trey young behind the back animation from last year where if you run to the basket you get this like speed burst 
yo-yo behind the back that allows you to get to the basket faster and speed past some defenders so to do that behind the back all you have to do is run to the rim and while you're running to the rim with the ball in your right hand it's right stick down diagonally left and you get that now the ball's in your left hand and you're running to the rim it's hold the right trigger right stick down diagonally right while driving and then kobe's moving behind the back is gonna look like this so it's actually not that bad uh it's one that people have used in the past um but yeah i really think that move that behind the back that like he does to the basket is pretty good but you could also spam all of these behind the backs like back and forth so like if, if you do this you can kind of just go back and forth with it if you time it right right trigger right stick to the right once to the left twice to the right twice to the left twice to the right you get the timing right you're just gonna be able to spam the same behind the back back and forth and that's actually really good with like the paul george animation as well but the behind the back i've been waiting to show y'all is andrew wiggins this one is the 2k20 behind the back if you guys want this and the fact that we can get this on taller builds is kind of crazy so here's what the standing behind the back looks like it's kind of like kobe's and just like kobe's you can run out of it really well and i kind of like the andrew wiggins one because he gets this like this little like ooh like a little like a little husk and then he kind of just runs you can kind of run into a crossover and run out of it with the good dribble style right now his driving behind the back all these all these other driving behind the back suck except for kobe's but anyways the one where you hold the right trigger flick the the right stick to the left and then down diagonally right twice is the 2k20 moving behind the back is def is one that was patched in 2k20 if you guys didn't know because it was too good right so yeah this is kind of a crazy move to have on a 6.5 to 6.9 player and the next move we are going to be going over is the spin back to the three point line now this one is definitely one you're going to want to get into your arsenal because not only is it just super fun to do but we haven't really seen a move like this since 2k23 and it's kind of hard to pull off consistently i mean look at that one right there that was a crazy clip i hit a contested shot off of it too but yeah it is uh not something that a lot of people expect they haven't had the guard set like this since 2k23 but we're in the my court right so you really don't need anything equipped here except for the zach levine step back um and the you know a good dribble style i'm pretty sure jalen green dribble style works better for this because for whatever reason there are certain dribble styles where if you're left stick dribbling it just kind of moves better with certain dribble styles right so basically you have to do any move that kind of gives you a good run out to the when you're running forward right so like this little cross launch we learned earlier gives a good run out um you know maybe you want to you maybe do the exactly step back and then you know move out of that that gives a good run out maybe you want to do your go-to shot then run out of that maybe you want to do your kobe you know between the legs then run out of that or maybe you just want to do your step back and then run out of that once you do that move you have to use the left stick to get back to the three-point line and then do your zach levine step back so let's say let's say we do a move so we do the cross launch right and then as we're getting to this point on the court you have to use your left stick and start at 12 o'clock and kind of rotate it and exaggerate how much you rotate it all the way to basically six o'clock all the way out to the three-point line right now when i now the left stick movement is really important on this move because you have to exaggerate it or you're gonna get some awkward animations so we do a little speed boost and then left stick from 12 to 6 and exaggerate it you know sometimes it's awkward like that one didn't look that good but sometimes I can get something like that where it looks a little better, right? So it's just something that you kind of have to play with, you know, you kind of just have to mess around with. But basically, once you do that, then you just hold the right, you're holding the right trigger, you flick the right stick down, you get the Zach Levine step back, and all of a sudden it throws you all the way out, and now you've done a complete, you know, uh, spin back. So right here, we're gonna flick the right stick to the right to do a crossover, run out of it, left stick 12 to six, and then hold the right trigger, flick the right stick down, and boom, we've done the spin back now you can do it the other way as well cross over here 12 to 6 but we're rotating it to the right instead of the left right trigger right stick down boom zach levine step back now we're out to the third we're driving to the left it's 12 to 6 um a clock on your right stick to the left but if you're driving to the right it's 12 to 6 from right to or it's 12 to 6 rotating your stick to the right now another move we're going to learn is like just kind of the hop jumper right now the hop jumper i have on is normal too 
and how to do a hop jumper is you just hold back the right stick now if you you know hold it all the way back you're gonna shoot it right so we like to use the hop jumper for drill moves and you can get a good speed boost out of it right so let's say the ball's in my right hand and i hold the right trigger and i and then i hold the right stick to the right not flick it hold it and then cancel it and run out of it you can actually get a good run out if you run out of it with your left stick diagonally down right so once again hold the right trigger then hold the right stick to the right let go of it and then hold that left stick down diagonally right as much as possible so you get this animation right here yeah that's the animation you're looking for now you can do this to the right or to the left and you can get this on really any build you just need the hop jumper so it doesn't matter what your ball handle is you can get this this move right here on any single build and really it's just a good move to speed boost out of because if you're in a triple it's also good for the triple threat because last year we used to do that 21 speed boost in the triple threat but the best way to trip to speed boost out of a triple threat is also the hop step as well and you can get that speed boost animation out of it so let's say we're in a triple threat right once again hold the right trigger hold the right stick to the right left stick down diagonally down right boom you get it now let's say the ball is in your or you're trying to move to the left right hold the right trigger hold the right stick to the left and then left stick down diagonally left you see i'm messing up on it because the angle of your left stick has to be perfect this is not an easy move to get down for some of y'all it's gonna it's gonna be kind of tough but as you can see i got it right there definitely a really good move to move out of with the triple threat and it's just another good speed boost move but anyways y'all if this video helped you out at all make sure to drop a like hit that subscribe button if you're new hey man this these uh these drill moves have been treating me well like i said i have a 96 win percent right now i'm already gold tier on the 1v1 core as well so hopefully it helps you you out as well make sure to subscribe to the channel 1 million subscribers in the way it's been your boy henry aka double h and i'm out of here y'all peace